You are not gonna believe what we are talking about this week. We are living in the future. Future, future. And I don't know how I feel about it. My name is Willem and this is Kids News Break. Do us a solid by clicking that like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this one. Last week we did a video about me alternatives. There are a lot of choices. As an honorable mention, we should tell you about jackfruit. I know, we were as surprised as you are. Jackfruit, when you cut it up and cook it, it looks and tastes like meat. Something like pulled pork. Jackfruit is the largest fruit that comes from trees. The fruit itself weighing up to 55 kilograms or 120 pounds. If you want to try it, we get the canned jackfruit in water. We fry it up and mix it in with barbecue sauce. Put that stuff on a bun and you would swear you're eating pulled pork. Oh no, I'm getting sidetracked. What was I gonna say? Um, um. The real surprising thing that we wanted to talk about was lab-grown meat or cultured meat. The basic idea is that they take a small sample of real animal cells and, in a lab, get more muscle or meat cells to grow with it. That means they just need one animal to produce tons of lab-grown meat. With the strain that current meat producers have on the planet and the expected growth of the population in the next 20 years, our current system of producing meat is not sustainable. Would you eat it though? There are a number of companies working on this product, but there are several hurdles getting in the way of mass production of lab-grown meat. One being in normal animal meat, there's fat, and fat adds a lot of flavor to the meat. Lab-grown meat is a lot of meat cells, so it is lacking the fat. Another issue is that the process of making lab-grown meat also uses fetal bovine serum that is taken from cow fetuses. This is one of the main reasons why lab-grown meat is expensive. Lastly, and probably most importantly, is public perception. People will probably have a lot of different reactions eating lab-grown meat, but we are hoping that they will have an open mind and try. The first public taste test was in the Netherlands in 2013, and the reviews were generally positive. It's been eight years since then, so I hope they've made improvements. This past year, 2020, Singapore was the first country to allow the sale of lab-grown meat from a company called Eat Just. They will be selling the lab-grown meat in the form of chicken nuggets. They will be a bit pricey because the process to create the meat is expensive, but it's a start. The main goal is to cut down and greatly reduce the animals that have to be raised and killed to fulfill the world's need for meat. Plant-based meat alternatives and this cultured meat sound like great solutions to the problem that raising meat is causing our planet. With lab-grown meat, more work has to be done, but it is our hope that eventually you won't be able to tell the difference. Hopefully the price will come down and having a lab burger will be as acceptable as eating regular meat. Let us know if you would eat a burger if you knew it was grown in the lab. Email us at kidsnewsbreak at gmail.com. To watch this video in French, the link is in the description down below, along with our social media links. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. And you should really try the jackfruit. Oh, yeah, yeah.